So someone pointed out in the comments to the last video that uh, he thinks he knows where the the exit was and it was right here supposedly and yes there actually was a passageway that I didn't see the last time so I guess the level is going to come to an end rather soon. Um, wait a second, did I forget some gold nuggets back there? Nope, there weren't uh, any on that side, so there were only two, and yeah, right now, yeah, it's getting, it's getting a little boring, same thing over and over and over and over, and there are the stairs, so nice, we're yeah. done with this level, but here comes level 26, Heartbeat, and no, it doesn't mean that it's going to be done in a heartbeat. Quite on the contrary, this is, aside from possibly level 29, the hardest level in the game. Remember how hard level 9, 18 was? Well, this is at least as difficult as this, if not more. So expect to hear a lot of screaming and cursing and yelling and kicking, all that with the background noise of the softest song in the entire game. Okay, if I only can get stop bouncing around. Oh man, what? Well, at least I've got the the blue cloaks, but though the, those were pool balls right there, and I didn't see any holes. Well, I think there are holes now after hearing that, but. Where did those pool balls come from? I honestly have no idea. Here's a hole. Now, I thought there was going to be a pool ball behind me, but there is another one right there. So I'm going to lure it down this hole. What? Another one? And another one from there too? Well, at least I'm not on hard difficulty, so they won't keep ramming into me and make me lose my energy. There's an enemy behind those. And uh, the balls stop falling. Thank you very much. Just how many of those balls are there? And the worst part about the, that part of the level is that I think I've explained it before, but back when I was playing this game on, a, on an old 386, well, the, 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 the floors were black. No joke. They were the same color as the holes, so I couldn't even see the holes, so I kept falling down those <laughs> holes, which... Oh, whoa! I, I was really surprised by that ball, so I kept falling down those holes and I couldn't even see them! So yeah, that was really cheap. It was only when we upgraded to a Pantheon that uh, I could finally see the holes because the, the floor became the color that you see it is now. Okay, now we've changed parts and at least unlike in level 29, you know you're making some progress because the wall patterns keep, keep changing. But level 26 is mostly that, uh, really cramped mazes. There's one area, I think it was with red bricks later on, that's real, that has larger hallways, but it's so freaking huge that you can do laps over the same area several times and not even notice it. Man, this is so confusing. I don't know where I am, where I'm going, and... I think keeping tr track of the compass would actually make things worse. Okay, there's a door there, but I'm, I get the feeling that I haven't explored this area fully, and yeah, because that's another thing, there's, I think it was a homing missile or a lightning, I don't remember which one, there was an extra life, and there is only one key in this level, but it's extremely difficult to find. I remember doing this game several times and always getting to that locked door near the end of the level and I had to go all the way back through the the, the, the infamous um, red brick area that I mentioned earlier and so I had to find my way through it three times no less okay here's a few doors but once again I don't think I'm done exploring this place so I'm going to keep running around until I find uh, well I don't know what I'm gonna find, but whatever, at least until I get the sense that I've completely explored this place. But as I was saying, the key is extremely hard to find. Imagine if the key was hidden in, you know, a secret passage in... No, this, I think, is the next area, so I'm gonna head back because I think... Actually, those doors aren't the ones I saw earlier, so I'm gonna 
have to find my way back to uh, those doors because the two doors I saw earlier were directly adjacent to each other. They, those two aren't. There was um, a tile or two between them, but uh, not uh, the ones that I saw first. So as I was saying, yeah, f that key could really be anywhere, so I gotta make sure that I shoot everywhere, and there we go. I told you that, um, that I had seen other doors besides those. Do not enter, which means I'm gonna enter to get the final extra life of the game. So now it's time to head back and try to find my way to the other door, the one that leads to the rest of the level. And on top of uh, all those power-ups and key, the key and stuff, there's also a room hidden somewhere where, you remember in level 19, that room with all the pirate traps? There's a similar one in this level too, but thankfully I've got maxed out missiles instead of just a maxed out jelly gun, so it's going to go a lot faster to shoot them. I still don't think I'm going to show you the shooting session in its entirety though. Okay, that is the next section, but once again, I have some things to to um, explore in this area before I move on. And yeah, I saw what was um, the next uh, section. It's a section with the uh, blue bricks, and it's extremely confusing because I I, I, I think I have spent almost as much time in the in that blue brick area the last time I played this game which was quite a few years ago as in the red brick area of doom which comes I think almost directly after if memory serves me correctly now this isn't a hard combat level not by a long shot since most everything except pirates uh, die in one shot devils assassins they all die in one shot so I'm not struggling to survive, I'm just struggling to find my way around this place! Okay, now it's been around six minutes that I've been in this level and I'm starting to yell. That is not good, especially considering the hardest part is still to come. I haven't found... I still don't know if it's a missile or a lightning bolt. I haven't found the key either. And yeah, I think I remember that hallway. I, okay, get lost. Yeah, I think I remember where I am and that area with the get lost sign Lee, it is what leads to the rest of the level, but somehow I'm having the, the intuition that I am missing something and I am just going to keep carrying on and if I see a different wall pattern I'm just gonna backtrack because well I'm I don't know why but I'm getting sure that I'm missing something oh there we go I remember that place it and beyond that room is the area you can see maybe you can't see them because of the YouTube compression but I see the red bricks at the end of that room and that is the area I was talking about so yeah I think I'm missing you know what? I think the key is in this area. I don't know why, but something tells me that the key is in this area. So I'm just going to search around for it and um, see what happens because it's such a complicated maze. There's no way I could have explored everything in such a short amount of time inside it. So heading back through that uh, hallway with the get lost sign, at least I know I'm going the right direction since I remember this particular hallway. So now I'm heading back to the entrance of the area. Oh! There we go! I think there's something there and there's the key! I must look like a real genius now! I knew it! I knew that the key was there! And is there any secret passage? Stop shooting me! I'm trying to find secret passages! And anyway, this part is so crammed that I doubt that there's a room full of pirate traps in there, but, you know, just to be on the safe side, those cuckoo clocks are just so tantalizing with the prospect of uh, a secret passage. Okay, so that was the previous area. Now I'm going to try to find my way back to the yellow disc area of sort, but I am going to find it next time, I suppose.